Hey guys, welcome to a new video on our channel Nash and Teresa and today I'm going to be telling you the top things you shouldn't do when you're visiting Prague. Prague has become the ultimate European tourist destination for those looking for an amazing city break holiday. This is where you come to enjoy the spectacular beauty which Prague has to offer and some tourist activities which come at a very low price compared to other western countries. Because of this demand of many tourists coming to Prague each year, this has given a ripe opportunity to some shady characters who are making it their mission to try and scam you at any given opportunity and take some money away from you. So in this video, stay tuned because we're going to give you some valuable insights which are going to stop you from losing some money and this is going to ensure that you're going to have an amazing holiday. So starting with the first tip. So as you're walking towards the Old Town Square, you're going to find little shops where they're selling souvenirs and most of them look like Russian, you know, like the Russian hats and the dolls which go inside one another. So you really need to avoid the shops within the Old Town Square Center because these are really pricey and they're really expensive and it's low quality stuff and most of the time it's not even Czech stuff so you really need to avoid these places. So instead of going into those overpriced souvenir shops, I recommend you come to Hverska Street. So here you have a market, which is the Hverska Market here, and this goes all the way to the end of the road. So here you have souvenirs which are dead cheap, going about one euro each or two euro or three euro, and there's a big selection of shops. So you can shop around, you can find what you want, and also at a cheaper price. So this I definitely recommend. So the next thing you need to avoid is just right by me and these are called the Euronet ATM machines. You're gonna see a big sign on them written ATM so that you know where to take your money. So these ones are gonna rip you off because as soon as you put your foreign card in there, it knows and it charges like really, really high fees to take out money. And it also forces you to take out like round numbers, like for example, 1,000 crown, 2,000 crown or 3,000 crown because they know that you as a foreigner, you have more money and they really want to patch you away from your money. So at all costs, you need to avoid these kind of machines. I suggest you go for an ATM for example with a bank name it can be like KB, Chess or B, Raffaizen Bank. They are actually banks and they are definitely less fees compared to if you go for these scammy machines. So definitely avoid those. So the next thing you want to avoid is eating out in the Prague Oton Square because things are so expensive here. Oh my goodness. You can have a meal which normally costs twice as much as if you were to walk out five minutes away, things would be immediately half price. So here is very expensive and you shouldn't eat here. However, there is one restaurant which I'm hearing is a recommendation and it's worth it on the square here. So I'm gonna check it out with you guys and you can tell me if it's worth the price and if it's actually good quality food. But I'm very doubtful, but I'm gonna find out. Maybe we may be surprised. So the restaurant where we're going is called Mintsovna, which means mint. Because here they used to mint some coins. So once you get in, you're going to be taken to your seat where you're going to get a menu and then you're going to wait for the waiter to come and take your order. So they're going to start with taking your drink orders followed by your main meal order. It is also worth checking which meals are on offer on the day because during the week, during lunchtime, they tend to have set meals which are at a cheaper price. So I've placed my order, so I'm waiting for it to arrive. So while I'm waiting, I wanted to tell you one thing which you're gonna do in restaurants in Czech Republic, and that's smoking. Most restaurants have a terrace where you can sit outside. So this is where you can do your smoking or you can step outside for smoking, but never smoke inside restaurants. That's completely against the law. So the food was okay. The presentation was done really well, but the deer loin itself was quite chewy to my taste. And also I found the chicken breast to be more on the dry side, not as juicy as I would prefer. I also took some Czech Pilsner, which is a must-try beer for all tourists visiting Prague. So the total price for that meal was 708 crown. So one important thing you need to do is do not forget to leave a tip. So customary it's 10% of the total fee, that's the tip and it's written on the receipt that it's not included. And then the last point is on the service, it was very good from the staff and they were super friendly. So the next thing you need to avoid is animal handlers and guys in costumes. So these guys are the ones which you approach and you ask to take a picture with them. And when you do that, they become so aggressive because they're gonna immediately start demanding for lots of money, which you probably didn't agree in the first place. And sometimes they actually start mobbing on you. So you can see like out of nowhere, maybe three to five guys or even up to 10 just are surrounding you. So this is something we did experience on Charles Bridge before and it was uncomfortable. And we ended up deleting the pictures and then the situation dissipated. 
but this was like really horrible experience so you really need to avoid these kind of things but the good thing is the council and the Prague I guess municipality they decided to ban these kind of things but you still catch one or two people who are around with snakes and uh, costumes but you really need to avoid these guys So as a general rule, if someone approaches you and wants to ask you something to do with money, run as fast as you can. Just avoid that because there's someone out there in Prague who wants to part you with your money. So there's many kind of scams which are going on. So the first one is someone who can approach you offering you jewelry and in return you're gonna borrow them some money to help them get to your home country or they need fuel. So don't fall for that trick. It's like they're selling you cheap probably plastic or fake jewelry and you're just gonna lose your money. The other scam is if you go for example to an exchange place or an ATM you can get approached by some guys who are offering you better rates than what's advertised there. Also tell them to bugger off, tell them to get away from you because these guys are gonna offer you robos which are basically valueless, you cannot buy anything from them and it's just, just a bad deal. So run away, tell them to get lost, just don't deal with these guys because you're gonna lose out definitely. So the next thing which I hate, which just ruins Prague, is just like you have this beautiful square, right? And then you get people setting up like this. It's a Thai massage place, and it's like you got like these crazy neon lights, these ugly statues in the front, and it's just horrible, horrible. It just ruins the vibe, and I don't think this guy should be in the Prague center. It's just not nice. So the next thing you need to avoid in the Old Town Square Center is these switch joints here. And these are also super overpriced and you're buying just low quality sweets, low quality candy and you can easily pay up to 40 euros for a bag and it's just really badly priced. Even though it looks fun, it looks adventurous when you go inside, I would suggest you probably go to like a supermarket like Albert, like Bila or Tesco. There you can get some authentic Czech sweets like um, Studenska chocolate or Pedro sweeties. There's like so many sweets which you can buy which are authentic Czech and they're not sold here. This is overpriced. It's really bad. Avoid this place. Exchange places in Prague are very notorious for ripping people off. So before you exchange any money, make sure you look up on Google how much money you should expect to get back. If you don't get favorable terms in the exchange place, make sure you shop around, check out other ones in case there's better deals. In case you do get a bad deal, just know that the law says that they should give you a receipt when you do exchange money. So you have three hours to go for a refund. They should get you your money back. That means you can go exchange it at someone with a better price. So I hope you enjoyed this video about the things not to do in Prague. So now check out our next video about the top 10 things you do need to try which are going to be so much fun for you guys.